Welcome to the yet another add-on session on computer networks. In this session, uh, we will be discussing the OSI reference model very briefly and precisely. We will discuss the layers, their functions, protocols on different layers and devices that works on different layers of the OSI reference model. Let's start the discussion with the layer number one that is also known as physical layer. Now the functions of the physical layer are transforming the bits into signal because the data in computer is stored in the form of bits, but you cannot transmit the bits. You need to convert the data into signals. So this is the first responsibility of the physical layer. Then the bit synchronization, bit rate control, line configuration, I mean point to point or multi point transmission mode, simplex, half duplex, half duplex, full duplex, physical topologies, tree topology, star topology, mesh topology, hybrid topology, bus topology, multiplexing, I mean combining the multiple input lines into the single output line. These are the main functions of the layer one that is physical layer. Now, Talking about the protocols, actually we don't have any specific protocol on physical layer. We have different multiplexing modulation and encoding techniques that works on the physical layer. Devices that works on the uh, layer number one are hub, repeater, cables, and gateway. The second layer is data link layer. Data link layer is further divided into two sub layers. The upper sub layer that is known as LLC logical link control and the lower sub layer that is known as medium access control that is MAC. Talking about the functions of the data link layer, the main functions are framing, converting the bits into the larger frames, physical addressing that is also known as the MAC address, flow control. Uh, flow control means the matching the speed of the sender and the receiver. Error control means checking the received data key whether it contains uh, contain error or not. If the error will be found, the receiver will discard the data and request for the retransmission. Or alternatively, it can also tries to try to attempt to remove the errors. Access control access control means when a single medium is shared by the multiple computers. So we need to decide which computer will transmit at which time. Then the feedback. Talking about the protocols, the main protocols that works on layer two are point-to-point -point protocol, address resolution protocol, career sense multiple access with collision avoidance, collision detection, Abramson's logic of hiring access, Aloha, CDP, Cisco Discovery Protocol, Frame Relay, and ATM. The devices that works on the layer two are switch, bridge. Intrusion prevention system, intrusion detection system, and gateway. Now the third layer, network layer, that is responsible for uh, connecting networks and finding the shortest route, route from source to destination. The main functions are logical addressing in the form of IPv4 and IPv6. Routing, finding the shortest path from the uh, source to destination and creating the packets from the frames. The protocols that works on layer number three are OSPF, EIGRP, routing information protocol version one, protocol version two, border gateway protocol and ICMP. The devices that works on layer three are router, IPS, IDS and gateways. Layer number four is transport layer. The main function uh, functions of the transport layer are creating the segments from the packets, connection management, service point addressing that is also known as port address. That is basically used to recognize the process that request or reply for the services flow control and error control. The protocols that works on transport layer are TCP, UDP, IP and SPX. The devices that works on the uh, transport layer that is layer number four L4 are IPS, IDS and gateway. Layer number five, session layer. The main function of session layer are establishing, maintaining, and ending the session. Dialogue control, dialogue separation, and 
synchronization and the main protocols that works on l5 are remote procedure call and net bias the devices that works on the session layer are ids and gateway layer number 6 that is presentation layer the main functions of the presentation layer are data presentation and translation data encryption and data compression the protocols that works on layer number 6 are mpeg motion picture expert group musical interface digital uh, mu uh, mu musical instrument digital interface midi arivis shamir adelman rsa ds data encryption standard advanced encryption standard sha whirlpool all these are encryption algorithms and the devices that works on l6 are ids and gateway layer number 7 is application layer the main functions of the application layer are to provide the interface to the user to interact with the system nvt file transfer access and management mailing services and directory services and we have lots of protocols that works on the layer number 7 mainly uh, these protocols are smtp http http s ftp post office protocol snmp dns telnet and imap and the devices that works on layer number 7 are ids and gateway you can observe the gateway this device works on all the seven layers of the osi model so that that was the description of all the layers their functions corresponding protocols and devices of osi reference model